everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i have the fixing and redeco of this yummy bear squishy that i actually ruined in yesterday's video investigating it for the mold that was underneath the paint i actually removed it all by going where the spots were cutting it open a little bit taking the paint off popping some anti-mold spray on it and to be honest today that kind of musty smell has completely gone for it so that's why i figured that it would be okay to do this today so anyway what i went ahead and did was just took some hot glue and hot glued on all the pieces that i kind of cut off it just to bring it back to its original shape and the reason i used hot glue was just to speed things up a bit you can of course use fabric glue if you want Next I went ahead and mixed up a beigey colour like puffy paint mixture and just popped this all over the face and I did two coats of this in total. So this squishy wasn't actually going to end up being the squishy that I've redecorated it into. I was like going to actually make this into a Harry Potter themed one but I didn't actually get around to doing that as I've seen quite a few um, videos on it already like Harry Potter redecos and figured if I was to do that it would kind of be a bit samey samey so even though I kind of came up with the idea without ever seeing one before I figured that I would try and do something different after a quick YouTube search. So anyway what I went ahead and did was I removed that brown heart from the top and then I went ahead with a blue puffy paint mixture and I just painted this on all of the top with like the cream at the top of the yummy bear. Now as you can see here this did bubble off but I let it dry anyway and then on a second coat it worked out absolutely fine. I found this when redecoing that the first coat always goes on a bit funny. Some people have um, suggested using sandpaper something like that to me but I haven't actually done that because when I did try it it did ruin my squishy. So I like to keep a nice smooth surface and just kind of stick with it because by the third layer it does end up really opaque and a really nice coverage anyway. You just kind of have to persevere a little bit. So once I had three layers of the blue paint on, I actually went ahead with some tulip um, paint again and I used a glow in the dark colour and this was just the glow in the dark green and I did a moon and two stars on the blue section of the squishy. So once the stars and everything like that were dry I then went in with some black fabric paint by the brand Scribbles and what I did was I just smoothed this all the way over the ears and did a little kind of outline on the face also. This outline definitely gives away what character that I am trying to recreate so that's why I've left the black bit until now as if I did this to begin with you guys would have known straight away what character I was doing. So yeah like I said I marked it out with my paintbrush and then I actually used my finger to kind of really smear it in and just smooth it on. I don't usually recommend that for like homemade squishies because like your paint needs to go on the surface but for redecos using your fingers is actually a really good technique. So like I said I just used the black and covered it in all those kind of areas that I marked out with my paintbrush and then what I went ahead and did once that was fully dry was I took some white puffy paint, I squirted it out just like on a little tub and then taking my dotting tool I did two white dots on the eyes. So once I had done the white bits I then went in with some black scribbles fabric paint yet again and I went ahead and painted the nose completely in black. This was when I realised that I put my whole design like kind of wonky so I actually had to like extend the nose a little bit outwards to the right because like I said the whole thing was completely off centred which really bugged me at this point because then I realised I was like no I've just done it all wrong. But I persevered and just kind of did like elongated the nose to the right so yeah it didn't look so weird anymore. <laughs> I 
I then went in with a pencil and just drew out a mouth onto the bottom and then taking a really, really small paintbrush, I just painted on the mouth in a black puffy paint, fabric paint also. I also did a bit of an outline for a tongue and filled in the very top of that shape and then I actually added some dots inside of the white of the eyes at the top. Now I did kind of mess this little bit up and this was the bit where I kind of started looking at it and thinking this just looks a bit weird. Like something was just a little bit off with it and I think it was just like the eyes to nose ratio. But you know, it's a redeco, it's a DIY so you know, if you feel like you can do a way better job, which I'm really, really sure you can, then don't copy what I'm doing here. Don't copy my design. Actually just look at you know, I think we can establish it's Mickey Mouse, but look at Mickey Mouse for reference a little bit more. My eyes just weren't really picking up what exactly was wrong with mine, but I don't know. I'm sure I'll realise in a few days and be like, oh yeah, the nose is just a bit weird or the mouth's a bit weird, but I don't know. Anyway, I went in with some red fabric paint and I just popped that into the tongue area with the same brush again and then I went ahead and mixed up some like dark grey colour and I popped a little bit of highlight on the nose. Once I'd painted on all the details I just let that dry and as you can see this is how it turned out. I also tried putting a line above the nose to kind of make it look like there was like a like nose 3D piece there, which I definitely think helped. I think where I actually messed up was, you know, the eye bit. I left the back a normal bun colour on purpose because I wanted it to look like it was like a Mickey Mouse bakery bun, but I did have a blue drip on it which was really annoying. It still squishes absolutely fantastic and I feel way better now that I've got all that kind of paint on there to protect me if there is even a single bit of mould inside, but I'm not going to be playing with this one anymore, it's strictly going to be for display out of reach. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!